What is going on, true believers? Guys, uh, we're going to 63,000. Uh, is it going to be tomorrow? I don't know. Probably not. But we are like at the dawn of what's going to be one of the more epic runs that you've seen so far in cryptocurrency. Now, if you've been here for a long period of time, you might not be as excited about it because you know that it's coming. You expect it to come. You've seen it before. But if you haven't been in crypto for that long and this is your first time really getting into the nitty gritty of it, then you're about to witness something that's going to amaze you. We're going to talk about not only Bitcoin going to 63,000, uh, but we're going to talk about what about the altcoins? What, what does that look like? And we got a signal. The signal just came in. And this signal so far has every time kicked off the bull run and it just happened. So, um, I mean, I guess all I can say is buckle up your safety harnesses. Um, buckle up your goddamn seatbelts, guys. It's about to get crazy. Oh, and we got a new intro. It's your boy, Blake. Put money in your pocket, that crypto wallet, that bing bada bing ching ching big profit. We go in the market sideways. I'm looking for ways to get paid. I'm checking my coins around breakfast, then again around bedtime. Bet this, it's not financial advice, <laughs> but I'm always right. 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 All right, guys. So uh, there's a lot really to go over right now in this market. Uh, it's been just very, very weird. Uh, but for sure, we are heading into what looks to be one of the better oh by the way check this out we got a new uh we got a new toy in the background here we can change the colors of it uh we're gonna make that blue for the show uh so that it's just a a nice little blue uh, glow uh <laughs> by that um it's a lot of fun i'm having so much fun with this shit um uh, anyway so guys make sure you hit the like button on the way in helps push me up in the algorithm I have to rely on the support of you guys to do stuff like that. Uh, so the more you hit that like button, the more you make sure that this video <clears throat> trends, the more people end up coming in. And what I'm trying to do specifically in case we did, we want to, we don't want everybody to be George. We don't, we don't, we don't want everybody to be George because we want people to make a bunch of money. Uh, we don't want people to be uh ran wiener guy, uh, you know, nooner. Cause that means wiener. Uh, we don't want people to, to get wrecked and sit at 37.6 K waiting for that buy opportunity. Um, and by the way, plenty of donkeys out here. Uh, we're gonna go through some of the news. We're gonna check some of these things out because it's kind of crazy, right? Uh, in, in this one. And in fact, let's start this off with, duh. So crypto analyst issues a Bitcoin alert says Bitcoin could crash by up to 30%. Here's his timeline. Wrecked capital uh, says that Bitcoin may repeat a historic pattern and crash up to 30% before the halving event in April. Now, that's not untoward. That's not wrong of him to say, because in fact, under most normal circumstances, that makes perfect sense. By the way, uh, look at uh, look at Luna Classic. Luna Classic having a little bit of a breakout right now. Not, I'm not sure if it's going to be sustained yet, but it does look like it's a, a nice big rally on Luna Classic. But uh, so Bitcoin uh, right now breaking above 52. Uh, I told you guys, you know, basically 53,000 coming, uh, and then we're headed to 63,000. Now there will be a stop off. Uh, by the way, at 57, three, uh, 57 142, I want to say uh, before we. Uh, really, really uh, get that big breakout. And over here on the longer term, uh, you can see that on this chart, then the next move around that 58. So, you know, 57, 58, that's going to be the, the location before we break out into that all-time high. By the way, if we continue the trend that we've developed right now, that all-time high <clears throat> will be before the halving. So um, it does not, does not, by the way, mean that that's going to happen. It just means that it's really looking like it. By the way, another big day for uh, for, for BlackRock. 
in in Bitcoin. Uh, they're they're buying it up faster than Grayscale Bitcoin can sell it. <laughs> so you know th this this is continuing to simmer uh, and, and and you know bubble under the surface. Like this is we're we're here. Here's what here's what somebody was told last night. Market makers are running out of Bitcoin. So market maker like the the and and when market makers, by the way, are running out of Bitcoin, do you know what that means? That means that the price has to go up on the exchanges because they have to buy more in order for them to buy more to meet supply and demand. They have to keep the price going up. So what you're seeing right now is the effect of this Bitcoin being bought up on the market. And what they did not expect is we what we expected was. We expected grayscale Bitcoin to be selling just a little bit more at this point, that we would still be seeing some of that. And we're not seeing that anymore. We're not seeing that anymore. What we're seeing right now is people are starting to buy it. And they're starting to hodl. And when that happens, that's when the bull run, that's when the magic happens. And in fact, um, uh, looking at the chart, the chart, by the way, I mean, charts boring, right? It's just, it's just up, right? So, um, uh, all of these, and by the way, uh, shout out to everybody who didn't believe me, <laughs> uh, you squares. Uh, but anyway, so this right here uh, is why this is important. Okay, uh, jump in Ethereum's relative strength index warrants your attention. Why? Ether's 14-week RSI has topped 70, a threshold that marked previous parabolic runs. So what we're looking at now is we've got Bitcoin doing this shit right here, starting to really make a nice move. Uh, we've got Ethereum doing the same thing, uh, making a really nice move. We got the we got the 14 week RSI starting to cap us out at 70, showing that the bull run is here. So what's the next step? That's the bull run. So it, here we are with just what really is a kind of a fantastic run. And it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. So now, here's how the Bitcoin price, which is up 35% so far, is going to trickle down uh, to large and low caps. So uh, this is kind of a, a, a reminder of how this stuff works. And I think that it's important right now that we really talk about this kind of stuff so that everybody has a little more of an idea of what it looks like. By the way, got some new stuff I'm doing in the studio. Um, I realized that, man, everything that I have is kind of out of place. Like when you look at it broadly, let's clear everything out here. When you look at it broadly, you know, I think the back is fine. Uh, I think the side piece over here is fine, but um, I, I'm missing like my, my screen over here. I'm going to go buy a big screen today so that it's back here a little bit so it doesn't like glow on me, shit like that. Uh, so we're going to do that today. Uh, in case anybody's interested. Anyway, so uh, 2024 bull run, how capital moves from Bitcoin to altcoins. Um, while the 2024 bull run will be driven by Bitcoin, analysts expect the capital to rotate to different altcoin classes with time. According to Rect Capital, a popular analyst and trader, capital currently flows into Bitcoin from fiat. Uh, will start to redistribute to large cap altcoins, followed by mid caps and then low caps. Uh, this this outlook of the market. And he says um, uh, all this capital is blah, 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 blah. Um, so <clears throat> spot ETF was a much needed investment product as it gives institution and traditional investors access to Bitcoin without and crypto without dealing with the complexities of the market, like creating a wallet. Uh, less than two months in since the ETF started trading, more than 4.2 billion in net inflow has been achieved. Think about that. 4.2 billion in net inflow ha has been achieved so far. That's a crazy number, by the way. For 14 days in a row, the net inflow uh, is in an upward trend. In addition to increasing the demand for Bitcoin, this spectacular performance validates Bitcoin ex expected rally in 2024. I might add also, IBIT is now one of the top five all-time ETFs. Peter Schiff is out here somewhere furious, like, you know, smashing a puppy with a uh, with a with a, a clown's hammer at, with a big red nose on his face. Peter Schiff. <laughs> oh, God, I'm it couldn't happen to a nicer prick. Uh, the prevailing technical structures on the weekly chart show no signs of the uptrend taking a breather in the short term. Guys, let me read that again. The prevailing technical structure on the weekly chart shows no signs of the upward trend taking a breather in the short term. Traders were quick to jump on the dips below 51.5 on Wednesday, which aggressively ignited momentum for gains above 52,000. 
It's becoming apparent that 52,000 is turning into solid support for intraday traders keeping their current positions would allow them to take liquidity above 53,000. Uh, the the MACD backs the bullish thesis above the 4,000 mark. If short-term support at 52,000 is breached, Bitcoin could retest the 50,000 level to collect liquidity as people buy the dip. Now, where does the liquidity come into play? There's this little range right down here uh, on the three-day when you get to the week. It still looks kind of the same. So, uh, but, you know, the big amount probably going to be in that dip range into the 46s. So uh, that's what somebody's hoping for. That's why we're looking at like a 30% correction uh, because what we need uh, the market or what the market really wants is to be able to get in there uh, and, and get some of those long positions liquidated. But look at this. When you really zoom out and you start to look at the big money and is it worth doing? That's when you're asking the question, is it worth coming down here for and the answer to this is no because there's not a huge amount you really have to get down into the forty thousand range so it's over so but but it's not over in this short term run because you know look if i'm looking at anywhere from from 50 to forty eight thousand, right forty nine thousand zero uh forty eight eight hundred forty one thousand you know as i go down here uh forty eight two seventy seven two hundred thirty six thousand hundred sixty a million i mean 25 million by the way this is not dollars this is the the leverage so um when you come up here though right here 51 1 uh 51 2 basically is 515 uh right below that 110 253 443 million uh 346 million 345 million 92 million 341 million there's a giant pool like in this range right up here and if you can't see it by the way uh, I'm just going to circle it right there on the chart, and that's 51. Uh, so, uh, you know, coming into this and, and just kind of looking, um, try to I'm trying to zoom in just a little bit, and you can see, like, right here, like, this is the, ah, get this shit out of my way, this spot right here, that's the best you can hope for. Uh, so, you know, what I want to say to you is if you are a bear in this market, like it's kind of over, you know what I mean? Like this is your opportunity. Like you don't have at this moment, the leverage to make those moves, those big moves to the downside and go <laughs> Miffy and Buffy. <laughs> and you bet like $5, like those guys from trading places, um, you know what I mean? Or a dollar, whatever it was, you know, somebody's life was worth anyway. Um, but you can't still hunt people just, just letting you know. Um, so this is, uh, yeah, I mean, this is this is what you have. This is you've got 51, 50,000 maybe. So in the event that it dips down here, um, or, or if you start to see that move, if you start to see that move where it's waning and, and it looks like you know Bitcoin's really starting to get weak, and what you see is like a um, if we get a, a big wick on the top here, uh, that's going to be the the big question here. Like if we get a big wick starting to move up or if we get like a red day today then it might be time to to, to liquidate a little bit uh or if you're not going to liquidate uh just buy the dip at fifty thousand and dca your way like i mean my position uh by the way at this point is like forty four thousand nine, so i don't gain from that but you know uh maybe we'll see uh um Maybe we'll see something change. Um, now, the other thing is the alts will dip even more if Bitcoin dips down into that range. So, you know, what I would be looking for is I would be looking for something like this uh, as an entry point into Ethereum if Bitcoin dips down to 50,000. Like that would be my move right there. So, uh, and we got thank you for the $20 bomb here. We got uh, good morning, please keep up the amazing work. You do amazing content for the blockchain. Stay vaulted. I'm always going to stay vaulted, by the way. Um, I, I do have uh, I, matter of, somebody reached out to me about vault content, so probably going to do something very, very soon just to kind of talk about it. Um, get it back in the ecosystem. I think if you notice, I'm, I'm pretty sure I put on the thumbnail today, I put a picture of Volt. I was looking for a coin, uh, so that I can use a token and kind of add it back to the profile. Uh, because I figure it's about time for people to start realizing uh, what Volt is and what Volt can do. Uh, but I do want to I do want to stress like I only hold like fifty dollars in Volt, um, you know, because I, I I bought um, after I got everything stolen. Then you know I, I basically I'm screwed and like 
you know, not to be greedy, but I hope it doesn't really pump yet because I need to accumulate more. And at this point, uh, my $50 is now $58. As a matter of fact, you can look here on the chart. Um, <laughs> so um, uh, my uh, $50 is now $58.32. So, um, you know, that's uh, that's all I have right now. So, um, you know, maybe, maybe I can reach, I reached out to Voltoshi and I said, Hey man, you know, we could do like a monthly thing. Uh, give me, give me tokens because like, I don't need his money. If you, if you know what I mean, uh, or split it with me, you know, 2000 in USDT, 2000 in volt tokens, something like that. So that I can start accumulating again. Um, and, and maybe see if he'd be willing to do that. So, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. I, I, I you know, uh, it's got to be time. It's got to be time for a push at some point. But as you guys can see, like I'm up uh, pretty big on almost everything here. Uh, my Solana, I'm up 21% on. Injective, I'm still down 4%. But Casp, I'm up 40%. Avalanche, I'm up 40%. API 3, I'm up 40%. Uh, Arbitrum, I'm up 27%. Render, I'm up 19%. Volt, I'm up 17%. Doge, I'm up 6%. Bone, Shiba Swap, still down 3.5%. Can't get that. God damn, can't get Bone, Shiba Swap to pop off for anything, by the way. So, yeah. Um, all right, so MAGA is going on MEXC in like 20 hours. So uh, get your shorts ready. Uh, I would, if it when, it, when it pops up on MEXC, basically like the, the general rule is, uh it'll pump or should pump until it gets on there and then when it does it should dump a little bit so uh as soon as maga is listed on mexc i would you know take like a a, a little bump off of it you know what i mean like um uh to, i'll get sidetracked here for just a second like you know maybe you see like a little bit more move to the upside get back into that test that all-time high like like set yourself a short at 350 uh to come down into this new range so, uh, but in the meantime, the whole thing is breaking out. So, um, let's see. All right. So, uh, if you're looking for MAGA, it came down to the five. Uh, so look for it to come back up here and at least test like 350 one more time. Uh, but then like short it down to 271 ish. Like, I want to say like right in this range right here would be the, the logical place for that because people are going to short it. Now, the other thing is uh, the election is, you know, there's still some time, a lot of time before the election. So if you're uh, if you're looking for for uh, a place to put your money, um, Elon Musk has, you know, kind of radicalized himself a little bit um, and he's been wilding out. Uh, and things like that usually bold, bode well for quote unquote freedom, right? Uh, and that being the case, this thing is going to rip uh, 138 million market cap right now, 3.7 million in liquidity, not the greatest liquidity ratio, but look, all of the meme tokens are doing this right now. Uh, you have a lot of, you know, it's, it's, it, 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 there's a, there's this weird sort of dynamic on, on these tokens. So, uh, you know, not a lot, but at least the market cap, you know, um, the, the market cap should rip. So I, I'm telling you right now, um, MAGA is probably going to be a billion dollar token before it's all said and done. So I would think that if you want to throw in a hundred bucks and get an easy eight X maybe, and I would be guessing at that point, by the way, I'm, I'm not telling you that it will do that. I'm guessing wildly, but if any token is going to go to a billion, you know, just like almost, as a slam dunk, I would think that it would be MAGA. Now, I don't know what the liquidity looks like. I don't know enough about this to say that it will or will not. I just know, look at this thing, and we're heading into the bull run. It's not even seen its all-time high yet. Like, it's just continued and continued and continued, uh, and, it, and it found its momentum. It found its way. Uh, it meandered here for a long period of time, and then it broke, and then it broke, and then it broke, and it broke. And it broke. Uh, and now it's going to keep breaking out, I think. Like, it's my opinion anyway. Uh, this thing is just going to keep breaking out over and over and over and over again until we get to the election. So uh, I don't know. The circulating supply is 46.5. So, um, <laughs> uh, so I don't know what it looks like uh, at a billion market cap. That's 8x from where it is right now. Uh, so $20, I want to say. So it'd probably be like 20 bucks. Um, so I would I would think that this is probably going to run to about $20. Um, $15 at the low end would just be my estimate of it. But I don't know. 
when none of us know, you know, we're just guessing. But anyway, uh, so yeah, and 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 the same thing. Like Volt, Volt's going to find its audience pretty soon. Uh, Volt will find uh, the people who are going to take it to that next level. It's the four hour chart, by the way. Uh, this fifty one was just kind of a test pump, and we found. Um, you know, the only thing that we found, here's what we found. Here's what we found. You found out that I was more vaulted than everybody else that you thought was more vaulted than you or than, than me, right? Uh, they left, they walked away. They decided to go do something else. All the people that told you all this time of all the people that told you, you got to buy a vault. You got to buy a vault. You got to buy a vault. Uh, guess what? I'm the one that's still here. So just remember that by the way, uh, when it comes down to it. Uh, so I never ran out on you. Anyway, um, I can still say that, right? Yeah, I can say that. Anyway, it's my goddamn show. So um, back to back to back to the main stuff over here. Um, Ethereum, uh, the 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 breakout looks to be real. Uh, Bitcoin, the breakout looks to be real. Total market cap looks to be real. Um, Miro, Miro finally broke out. So, you know, anything's possible. Uh, the other thing is, if Miro broke out, the way that it's breaking out, by the way, I, like, um, I, I'm not sure if that represents, but if this does represent the same kind of, and look at this, you can see the similarity here in the move down and then the breakout. So, uh, you know, not for nothing, but if you can, you know, kind of look at this and say, well, there's the move, there's the move. Um, because what I said was 33 cents was coming, right? Um, well, there you go. That's that's where you're going to kind of um, run up into <laughs> on Miro. If Miro has this momentum, uh, check this chart out. Uh, you can see that you know if it moves just like it did the last time, and it has the break that it did the last time, then it's gonna it's gonna come. And by the way, when you're doing this, the one the place that you're looking for for support is between the two three six and the three eight two line. And where does this line up? It lines up the same place right now. That's about twenty cents. So, uh, but what comes after that is a a, a stop here at thirty to thirty five cents, and then a move up to fifty cents. So, uh, very possible that this is just the next leg up on uh, the Miro journey, uh, just like the Trump journey, by the way, if you, if you go back and you look at the Trump one that we just talked about, it's doing the same thing that we're talking about with Miro. So, uh, it came in here, it did this, it came back down. Now it did the same thing. It came on here and did this. Now it's coming back down and it's going to do the same thing again. So if that is the case, then you might be looking at a breakout on Miro. So, uh, if you're holding good for you, I'm not, by the way, paid by them. You know, I did a video for them. So, um, I, I have a vested interest because I didn't sell. Like I, I held on to it because I figured, you know what, it's only a thousand dollars. You know, what the worst thing that could happen is I lose a thousand dollars. I've lost more than a thousand dollars. You know what I mean? So, not really too worried about it. Uh, but again, you know, shout out to uh, to everybody who's just kind of, I mean, my rose pumping again. So, what are you gonna do? Uh, but anyway, let's get into bigger markets here because we got a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, wrecked capital. Um, so he thinks that there's going to be a breakdown of about 20 to 30 percent pre having. Again, it does not look like the market supports that uh, because when you look at the drawdown and and from wherever you are, you're going to look at that drawdown and you're going to see like what does 20 or 30 percent look like? Well, 20 or 30 percent right now looks like 40,000 at 20 percent, and for a 30 percent drawdown from where we are right now, that would look like about 36,000. Fuck you. There's no chance of that happening. Um, like this is not the market for that. Doesn't mean that it won't happen. Doesn't mean that something couldn't happen. I just think that the sentiment of the market, the feeling of the market, the way the market is right now, no chance. So let me also state for the record that this is all about perspective. Okay. So Let's say that I'm right because I'm always right. I'm always right. I'm always right. Uh, so let's go in here to uh, 63,000. Now, what does it look like at 63,000? So let's just say for the sake of argument that Bitcoin continues its what it's doing here and we end up at 63,000 like I'm telling you guys is about to happen right now, right? Well, what does a drawdown of 20% look like from there? Well, a 20% drawdown from there looks like uh, 50, 50,000. Duh. That's perfectly fine. 
And a 30% drop would take us down to, where are we at here? Boom, boom, boom. 44,000. So no, first of all, 30% uh, drawdown is probably a little bit, I mean, look at where it is though. So you could say like, that, it makes logical sense, by the way. So in the event that we run up to 63,000, um, then maybe that starts at altcoin. I mean, I think we're starting to see the altcoins pop right now, uh, but that's this is the line right here. This would be the 30% dip if we rip up to 63,000. So this guy could end up being right. He's just not right at the current level. Uh, 52,449, by the way. So uh, just in case you're wondering, Bitcoin is about to hit another all-time high if it just keeps pumping a little bit more right now. Uh, but uh, you know, in keeping with some of that, um, Luna Classic 13424 uh popping off right now uh it, it, you know not not setting the world on fire uh, it's got a long way to go obviously but uh for the moment looking real good looking like a nice recovery uh if it does what it did before if we if we get the breakout uh in the range like we got from it on this last one and it led to this big breakout then we're looking at it coming up to about 4 cents so uh, our point 304 or it might even be three zeros, 35, something like that. So maybe about 3X from where it is right now. So if there is, in fact, a breakout coming from this range, then I would expect it to be up here right above this high uh, in that in that range. Also, uh, USTC having a big breakout just rejected off the 0.618. If it comes up above the 0.618, it could be testing that new high too. Uh, just for you, just and just so you guys know, um, uh, yesterday uh, or day before yesterday, when we were dipping and it was down at like 2.6 cents, uh, I went in and I flipped all of my um, uh, Luna Classic to USTC. So, da, 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 da. so now I have 7,000 USTC. Not a lot by the way. Uh, it was just like, I have it like an extra, remember I told you guys I have that extra amount that I always have just kind of on the side right now. And I had like 1.5 million Luna Classic. So at this point I have 1.5 Luna Classic and right now it'd be 1.7 if I, if I were to, uh, if I were to sell right now, which I don't want to do. Like I want to hold on to the USTC, see if I don't get a much better result because that's, you know, I'm, that's kind of splitting hairs, right? So what I would be looking for was I'd be looking for <coughs> over 25 2.5 million luna classic then it would be worth doing something otherwise it's not worth doing it by the way if you're looking to do any trading or anything like that it turns out for me it's much easier to use terraport.finance than it has been to use anything else so uh i i i found it very very easy to use uh so if you guys want to check uh, check that out you know when you go to station station is not the most robust sort of system uh, for you to to trade it tells you that you got to go to the tfm or something like that whatever they call it um, and i don't like that platform by the way so uh, it, it turns out it was easier for me to just do it over here so uh, this is where i'll be doing my trading right now and uh, you can be a, a liquidity provider etc cetera, etc cetera. so uh, if you want to to earn extra and they are one of the major validators and uh rex YZ, which is the guy that I interviewed the other day, uh, that's his project. So I'm kind of watching it to see what happens. Uh, I'm curious. I'm interested. So, um, and by the way, that's not my endorsement. That's just me saying that I like what I see so far. That doesn't mean that I'm telling you that that's, you know, and they also have a token called Terra, uh, which is their governance token, which, you know, if this whole ecosystem blows up, Terra blows up along with it. So it might even be, uh, it, it, it might even be important to, to, to grab just a little bit of Terra just to see what's going on. Because if you remember, uh, and if you watch my interview for, for Lunk yesterday uh, with Rex YZ, they're working, not them directly, I don't think. I'm not sure because he couldn't say, but somebody's working on a repeg. So, you know, we should be looking at some sort of something or other breaking out pretty soon. Uh, Bitcoin is just starting to rip, guys. Uh, 52,500 uh, as we're hitting right now. Still not the all-time high uh, for this range. It's 52,566, but that happened today anyway, uh, just a little while ago. So um, here's what the hour chart looks like right now. Uh, two hours ago, uh, we hit that high, so we're about to hit the high again. So um, uh, I guess as they say in Bitcoin land, let's get high. So uh, but, but so there we are. And let's, let's keep, I'm trying to keep moving here. Uh, I know I'm, I know I'm going crazy today, but Hey, it's my goddamn show. Right. Uh, so anyway, Mac D 52,000, 53,000, uh, look, we're going to rip, we're going to 63,000. Um, 
Bitcoin call option surge, and this is important right here. Uh, if you look at this, Bitcoin call option buys surge at 60,000 and 80,000 strike prices. Guys, th this is the this is the bonkers sort of shit that you're looking for right now. This is why you're about to see something incredible happen. This is look, 52,700, 52,750. Uh, here comes the money. Uh, uh, here, here comes the, here comes the money. Fifty-two thousand seven hundred. Uh, Bitcoin is just absolutely ripping right now. Uh, Ethereum. I got a couple of Ethereum, by the way, uh, just in case. Uh, Twenty-eight forty-two right now, starting to rip itself. So. Um, there we go. Uh, 53,000 is going to be a point where people are most likely uh, going to want to do uh, a, a, a take profit. We might have a breather at 53. Or, uh, by the way, uh, we might just go nuts. It may just, and I'm looking at an hour chart here. So just, you know, just so you guys know, like, uh, what would it look like? Well, uh, if we continue on with what we're doing, from where we are right now, then, you know, let's just say that's the consolidation area. Um, if we, I feel like it would be more like this right here because we already had a big rip. Uh, but we have another consolidation here, a retest, a back test at 52 or something like that. And then we come back up here, range around 53. Then we go to 57. It would be by February 20th. So five days. In five days, we could be at 57,000 at the rate that we're going right now. So, um, this is what's going on. I mean, guys, if you're not paying attention to this market and, and by the way, if you've been watching any of these other raggedy ass bitches out here telling you, Oh, we're going down, Bo. Oh, we're going down. Uh, I don't know where Bitcoin's going to go, but I don't feel good about it because it looks like it's overbought. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen next, George. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, a lot of people are telling me it's going to go to 40,000. Don't watch them. They don't know shit. They have no idea. You want to know what's going on with Bitcoin? You can watch me. I'm not. I'm not the greatest at it, but I've been very, very lucky for right now. Just like Luna Classic, like I've been very, very lucky to call everything as it happens. Very lucky on that. I'm not lucky on all of that shit, right? Uh, Tom Crown does a great job of analyzing. Evan Waldo. Uh, Evan. Oh my God, I just called him Waldo. Where's Aldo? Uh, Evan Aldo. Uh, Tom Crown. You know, there's there are guys out here. Who are in touch and in tune with the real markets uh, that can give you some insight. Um, you know, I think those guys do a, a very decent job. Uh, Tom Crown is an in the moment. Like, if you want to do some trading at like 11 a.m. every day or something like that, or noonish or something like that, after you're done watching Ben Armstrong, go watch Tom Crown. Th that would give you um, that would give you a little bit of knowledge. Uh, in the market. And by the way, Avic Pay is starting to rip as well uh, right here. Remember I told you guys, uh, most probably the 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 likely play out for Avic Pay was going to be that it would bounce off of this support and it would start to rip back up here and that we'd probably be seeing a new all-time high again or, or a previous uh, uh, regional high, if you will. So it uh, looks like it's on its way back to doing that. So we'll see if it, I mean, we'll see if it maintains but I mean, it looks like we're probably in that spot. And by the way, uh, they might have a nice little partnership going. And Miro, by the way, continuing its little breakout. It's at uh, ten point six seven zero. Um, guys, we're having a we're having a breakout. Oh, and by the way, when I talk about breakout, V chain, uh, we do have to talk about V chain. Uh, v chain, not parabolic, but close enough. I mean, you know, that's a hundred percent. So, and, and and you know, for a high high value crypto, that's a pretty good move, right? Um, we should at least recognize that and API API is continuing to do what API continue to do guys. I'm telling you right now, API three is going to be at a billion dollar market cap very, very soon. What does it do? It tops every time and then it goes and it tops every time and then it goes and tops every time and then it goes. So, um, today I will be interviewing Jesus, uh, just a little while as a matter of fact, uh, in a couple of hours. So, uh, be watching out for that. It's going to be an interesting interview. Uh, and, and look, by the way, I, look, I'm not telling you what to do with your money. I'm never telling you what to do with your money. I have some Jesus tokens right now. Um, I've got some MAGA tokens right now. And the reason that I have them both is because I consider that, 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 that Donald Trump, even though, um, it, in my opinion, dirtbag, you know, I don't like him. I don't have any respect for Donald Trump as a person, but he represents a community and that community is the religious right. It's a conservative valued, conservative principled uh, 
uh, group. So as MAGA starts to run, I think that Jesus token probably would too. Now, um, I, if you're interested in it, then, then go look it up. You'll see me talking about it later on today. Uh, and and I, I really feel like it's going to run along with the Trump token as we start moving into um, the real election portion. And you know, maybe I'm an opportunist, but I mean, yeah. Anyway, so um, there we go. 23% did not, not happening. Um, chains. Uh, let's look at the change real quick because we want to wrap this up. Uh, 1.52 and 7.79 billion. That does not seem right. That does not seem right. That seems like, that's right. 1.52 billion in Ethereum and 779 million in Solana. That is wild how much um, volume there still is uh, going through those changes. SWE is up here um, at number eight. Osmosis at number nine. Base is at number 10. Uh, by the way, I had somebody from Base reach out to me about doing maybe a, uh, we'll see. Uh, may, maybe so, maybe no. Uh, I don't know yet. Uh, but it's ERC-20 compliant, does have an EVM, so it's solidity-based, easy to get, uh, easy to be part of. Now, um, real quick, uh, Game Studio Overworld raises $10 million for a new RPG. Oh, hey, look at this. Uh, I'm not a fan of Overworld because I don't know who the hell they are, but Game Studio Overworld raises $10 million to create a new RPG realm. Uh, so this is to own assets, so it's an uh, it should be NFT-based or at least blockchain based uh, multiplayer RPG game studio has successfully closed a seeding fund round of 10 million. Uh, the investment was led by hashed with contribution contributions from Spartan Sanctor and galaxy interactive. It's a third person 3d action role-playing game developed using unreal five. It promises to unite players in a high fantasy universe infused with animal anime aesthetics uh, and a compelling narrative that balances epic adventures with relatable day-to-day -day interactions. Um, might be something cool, so be looking for uh, video games coming pretty soon. Uh, and then, uh, da -da -da, do we have anything for SHIB? Nothing for SHIB yet. I don't see anything that would cause me to to say, yay, SHIB. Um, but I keep waiting for it. Uh, but in the meantime, Myro having a nice little pump here. Uh, Cytochain having a move. Um, Avic Pay, of course, having a move. Pepe up a few percentage points. Bonk having a nice little run. Uh, CBDC, by the way, for you weed-centric people, um, is number one trending right now. Advanus AI, uh, 3520. Um, Bone down just a little bit on the day. Ben about even for the day. Uh, with hat, dog with hat, 4449. So holding up pretty well, in fact. Uh, Shib on Soul is down a bit today. Uh, Trump down again uh, a bit today. I mean, again, Trump is down. Um, the, the MAGA token is down, but I, I mean, I feel like it's probably just, you know, uh, getting ready for a big reversal and another move back up. So, um, if, if it's not part of your portfolio, I'm not saying by the way, that it's going to be anything after the election, but for right now, it seems like it's probably just going to continue to, uh, build up and fuse. I mean, every time there's a shooting in America, it should rise. You know what I mean? Because that's when nothing, nothing rallies, uh, nothing rallies MAGA more than uh, a bunch of people getting shot up. Um, so far, by the way, it's crazy. Uh, so far, the, the shooters who have not been identified, by the way, because it's my understanding that they might be underage uh, at, at the Kansas City parade yesterday. Uh, the shooters who have not yet been identified are either gang members, uh, which for some reason means they're Democrats, uh, or... Uh, they're Muslims and they're doing a terrorist attack. There's a bunch of those going around or they're illegal immigrants from the South. Buenos Dias. And it, all three of them are happening at the same time. So if you really want to go, if you want to have some fun, go, go run to X today and just start reading the narratives about these, but these people are, and here's the point. The point is they're lying to you. Um, they're, they're, they're trying to grift you. Uh, in order to make money off of you, because Elon pays them to lie to you. Now, uh, that doesn't mean, by the way, that um, there isn't one of these. One of these narratives is going to be true. Maybe even two of them. By by the way, um, two of those narratives may may be true. But there's a whole bunch of people who are lying for money to you right now. Uh, the important part is you protect the Second Amendment. The important part is you protect um, uh, kids. You protect family values. You protect all the things that you should be protecting. 
uh, and it doesn't take lying to a bunch of people to do that, right? So anyway, uh, but that is what's happening right now, and um, you can like hashtag fact check me, bro. Uh, anyway, so the liquidity, we already talked about that. RSI, do we have any weak tokens out here uh, that look like they're able to be scooped up? And that is uh, USDC, uh, of course not. We're not going to be buying USDC uh, unless we're stabling. Uh, Jupiter, uh, so the, the Jupe token, uh, is down and it's already starting to pump on the 24 hour on the one week. It looks like everything is really kind of anything that's still in range. XRP starting to move. It's 55 cents or so, uh, gas, ZRX, KNC, ARC, BNT, orbs, STPT, everything's kind of pumping right now. So, uh, I would be looking like right now is not the time to enter the market. It, it, it would be, you know, for me, this is the, the moment where you probably don't want to, um, you know what I mean? Like you probably don't want to, uh, at, at this point, get too deep into anything unless you're, uh, just like, if you're looking if you're long term, it doesn't matter right now. Um, it, it be, because you know, anything could happen. But greed is getting way up there. Uh, Bitcoin is at 52,657. Ethereum at 2846. I mean, guys, uh, we're on the rip. You know what I mean? Year to date, we're up 24% on both of these. Uh, year to date in the top 100. Pendle up 171%. ENS, 132%. If anybody knows anything, by the way, about ENS, I still have that Bleaves.eth and I would like to move it over, but I'm afraid that I'm going to get hacked uh, or that that might be part of it. So I don't think that it is. It doesn't make sense to me that it is. Um, and there's the beam that somebody was talking about yesterday, uh, coming up at 1.5 million market cap. I guess that's going to be the one, um, for video games. Um, but that's beam OS. Uh, <sighs> oh, I told you guys I was going to look at this and, and try to figure this out. And I haven't yet because it's just, you know, it was a long day yesterday. And, and guys, I did a lot of shit yesterday. I did a lot. <sighs> new uh, new intro, new outro. I brought back sideways uh, for those of you that want to get drunk and you're alcoholic or, you know, whatever you are. Um, so when I do the outro today, you're going to be hearing that. Uh, so that's cool, too. Um, so anyway, and that's what we're getting to right now. So I got to get ready because I got a Bears cast going. So um, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you. It looks like this market, guys. Just look, if you're in a long position, just hold on. Uh, hopefully, you're not too high up and, and you don't get liquidated in your position or anything like that. If not, then just hodl. Like, really, all you have to do is just, just hold on for dear life. Uh, these tokens are, uh, this was, by the way, this was my uh, uh, wallet over here. It continues to, by the way, it just continues to kind of pump here. Uh, this was the spot bag. Now, I haven't bought anything else uh, because it's MEXC. And, you know, you guys understand at this point, um, I'm not really a fan. Um, I, I don't like being ripped off. I don't like being manipulated. I don't like being deceived. I do not like what they did. So, uh, 157, my API, by the way, about a hundred dollars worth of API now worth 157. Um, I bought hundred dollars of Solana now worth 121, hundred dollars of injective now worth 95. I still think injective is going to start ripping, but it just didn't yet. $50 of Caspa now worth, uh, 70, uh, 50 in AVAX worth 70. Now, uh, Arbitrum, 50 is now 63. Render, 50 is now 59. Volt, 50 is now 57. Uh, Doge, 50 is now 53. Bone, 50 is now 48. Maybe I'll take my bone <laughs> and move it in. Uh, oh, the one thing that I did buy is I bought 19 hex. I just I, I just bought uh, a $19 worth of hex. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember what position I got in. Uh, I just think that hex was at 33 cents at one point. So why not just accumulate some hex just to be part of the show, just in case it it, it starts to really, really, really um, kind of rip. So, you know, if I'm looking at hex, I don't remember what price it was. Um, let me see if I can. Sorry, I, I know we're getting to the end, but um, Hex is trading at one penny right now. So 33x, I'll take a 33x, even if it's 50 bucks, I don't care. It's, it's you know, um, I'll, I'll take I'll take a, a 30x. Uh, but I mean, I think Hex might be able to go to a dollar. So uh, why not? Anyway, um, time to pay the bills. Uh, once we pay the bills, then I'm going to do the new outro and I hope you like we it. We have a giant update from Cryptonomy.finance, guys. Brand new website, Solana. I'm going to earn 26 Solana for this move right here, about 2,600 bucks, $2,600 for my tether over here. Uh,
the XRP 2313. Again, these do not unlock for a long period of time. I'm not going to unlock until November, but uh, I'm going to have 0.99, one extra Ethereum. Don't know how much it's going to be worth at that time. You never know. Worth nothing might be worth a lot. 0.08 Bitcoin I'll have available at that point. 0.037 Bitcoin over here and then 0.012 bit this launch pool now i'm locked in until november of 2024 you can see that my accrued interest so far 57,281.92 now you might be asking yourself like how are you earning this uh blazes because i signed up to cryptonomy.finance i just put the money in i gave myself a shot gave it an opportunity uh in the bull run whoa another shot of the bullet uh -huh. loaded got complex cocking and pulling that bottleneck look like the lock nest what are we doing i'm about to fall out boy in the proofs and the pudding so can we forget about the things i said when i was strong uh -huh. i ain't mean to call you that i'm ice cold like the keg the bar in the tap on another level like i'm fuck around with asap word so what's the word what's the deal don't be asking how i'm doing unless you want to keep it real because i'm all up in my field jesus take the wheel this liquor got me more set than jag a little pill <laughs> Everybody's getting sideways.